Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of this thing which is night vision binoculars by Dysoon or Dysoon. This model is the NV500 and it takes 8 AA batteries in here. As you can see there's also a standard quarter of an inch uh, threaded hole there if you want to mount this onto a tripod keep it steady because it doesn't have like image stabilizing which you'll see from the videos that I'm gonna have in this video they are a bit shaky I mean my hands are reasonably steady but the video is still quite shaky hopefully you'll see some value in it though okay I'll just turn it on so you can see what's going on in there ah, hopefully you can see that's basically what you're looking at it might not be in focus, although you do have a focusing wheel under here. So when you're holding it, you kind of use, whoop, wrong way. So when you're holding it, you're kind of using this thumb on your left hand to focus it. It's not auto-focusing. I don't know of any night vision stuff that is auto-focusing, unless it's some ungodly price. But when you get it focused, it is pretty clear. And you'll see that hopefully in the video clips that are coming up in this video okay so on the top here you've got your on off button you've got more light and less light that's basically your IR settings so it starts out at zero and you knock it up to one and it emits an uh, infrared light out here which the sensor picks up and then relays back to the screen to give you the image I find it works pretty well just on one but it can go all the way up to seven now I find that it gives enough light out to give you a decent image on the screen at the first setting but it does have seven settings so you can adjust it between zero to seven that's eight settings i suppose if you count zero hmm. <laughs> anyway setting one is good enough for me unless you're really at long range you know 300 yards plus and you really need to illuminate something in pitch black you've then got your mode button on there and that basically allows you to change it from photo mode to film mode. I've had it set on film mode because I've been recording clips for this video. But if you wanted to take pictures, you can adjust the quality of the pictures in the menu. And you can just click shot on the bottom there to either start your video or take a picture. So we've covered mode and shot. Shot is basically your trigger. And then the menu brings up a nation of options. It's going to be very difficult for me to show you that maybe I'll just click it there you go uh, I can't see what it says on the screen there I can't remember what it starts with but hopefully you'll be able to read that and then you just cycle through it using your IR buttons so you can see there's a lot of options there I can't remember what they all are but hopefully you can read them get in a bit closer Yeah, plenty of options and you just select those using the shot button it's very easy to navigate then you've got a handy little strap that comes with it it's neoprene like a bungee sort of a strap very similar to the Butler Creek rifle straps and that just takes all the weight off although this thing isn't very heavy right we really want to take a look at what it can do in real pitch darkness so behind me there's some old mine shafts and mine workings and so on we're going to go up there and in total darkness see what we can see now there might be some like blurry picture followed by a sharp picture that's just when i'm panning around and adjusting the wheel to get it in focus but when it is in focus i think you'll agree it's pretty good quality and the last time I went in there, I saw a bat, but I went in with a flashlight and it just scared the bat all over the place. So, hopefully that fella's still living in there. <laughs> okay, in here is looking very good for some total darkness.
Well, there you go, Mr. Bat was still at home. That was pretty good. The tunnel that I went into is not very long, but it is absolutely pitch black in there. So that was quite a good demonstration of how this operates in pitch blackness. The upcoming videos are in my local area where I've been going out and trying to get some wildlife footage on a night. Not entirely succeeding, but I did get some footage at all different distances of various animals. So check this next lot out and I'll see you on the other side. Now this isn't the end of my adventures into night vision land. I am going to fit this onto a little tripod and try and squeak some foxes in on a night because there's normally foxes around my place but for whatever reason I just haven't seen any in months. I'm not quite sure where they've gone. Hopefully they'll come back. They do tend to in the winter so if I see they're about again, I'll go out, I'll set it up to be nice and steady, I'll squeak them in and hopefully we'll get some good footage on a night. I may even catch a deer or two in a, in a wood or something if I'm out for a night walk as well. So hopefully there'll be some more night vision footage coming up. Oh, we've also got an otter on the local river as well. I've been down a few times trying to get video of that on a night and failed, but sooner or later I am going to get footage of it. Hopefully on this night vision binoculars. So there you go, that's the Disoon NV500 night vision binoculars. I'm very pleased with them. They do... I, I, well, I, I don't know what I expected. I was going to say they do more than I expected, but I, I don't know whether they do because I've never had any night vision equipment before. I couldn't tell you if this was near a Gen 1, 2, 2 Plus, 3, whatever. You know, I have no idea. You can probably just tell me. But it certainly allows you to see in pitch darkness and pick out the likes of rabbits and cows and foxes, badgers, all that sort of thing, you know. Um, it's actually a lot more difficult to film wildlife at night than I anticipated. I normally observe them during the day. <laughs> and all you've got to do is creep around quiet. And if you know the animal's habitat, they're very easy to see. But on a night, it's a totally different scenario. You've just got to be very lucky. That's the case it comes in. Fits in there very snugly. It's almost like a, a case you'd get good quality headphones in. 
and it zips up and keeps everything safe. It's got a handle on the top as well. So if you're interested in taking a look at these binoculars, just check out the link in the video description and also in the pinned comment. That takes you to Dsoon's website. Uh, they're not selling on Amazon or eBay or anything like that at the present time. They may start selling on Amazon though, so if they do, I've asked them to inform me and I'll put the link in the video description. Probably by the time you're watching this, they won't have an Amazon link, but it will link to their website. And I think they may have some offers on as well, because they also do game cams and all that sort of thing. Thanks for watching. See you next time.